This is another demonstration of eddy breaking. This is an aluminum pipe, so it's a conducting pipe. It's hollow, about five feet long. This is a steel ball. If I drop it through the pipe, it falls under gravity with very little friction, maybe, little, maybe a little air friction as it moves through, but just uh, nothing too particularly interesting. This is a magnet. When I drop this into the pipe, it will change the magnetic flux through the pipe in the region where it's passing. So changing the magnetic flux through a conductor means you're going to generate an EMF and currents in that conductor. And according to Faraday and Lenz's law, those currents will act to oppose the change in magnetic flux. And so ultimately what happens is that the, there will be a force that retards the motion of this magnet through the tube. And what you're going to have to do is just wait uh, to see how long it takes for this um, magnet to pass through the tube. I felt it pass my hand. And that is magnetic braking. It's uh, used in maglev trains, and as we mentioned before, um, amusement park rides. Uh, Faraday, of course, never envisioned the um, uses to which his theories would be put uh, over time. He was just fascinated by the science.